the tragedy for some, you would say, but others, a blessing. The Winnipeg Jets got eliminated, so I escaped another year without losing the bet to Frizz. Um, better luck next year, bud. It's a heartbreaker. I really thought my boys had it in them. They didn't have any push when it came down to it. So <laughs> zero pushback. Well, uh, we'll have to get them next year. So now the team I'll be riding with is da -da -da -da, Colorado, Tampa. Rangers. <laughs> Seattle, New Jersey. See, Florida. we're in like a predicament though. Like we have to like cheer for certain teams. Some teams are inviting us out like for the second round potentially. So like Colorado and Seattle, for example. Good speech. <laughs> <laughs> or when we're doing our podcast, we, we always have Franklin Manning, the live stream. So we got a little note where his official spokesman, <laughs> we're directing people to go watch our YouTube. Where Franklin is through our writing, though. So here's there the official go. spokesman of the THG. We are talking to a TikTok legend, a Hall of Famer, <laughs> some would say. Three hundred million views on a video, and at the time, I think that was like the third or second most viewed video on the entire app. I just want to know what goes on and happens to someone when you make a video like that. So it's gonna be really fun to talk to him. <laughs> hey. Just warming up. Warm up. Warm up. Warm up. <laughs> Let's go boys. Let's have a good one out there. No blue line turnovers today, boys. It's creepy, hey? Well, we pulled an audible today for the pod. Some things came up, so we'll have to reschedule. Yeah, we're gonna go to U.S. Bank Stadium, home of the Minnesota Vikings, and we're going to watch them draft someone on their team for next year. <laughs> I just want to see who like the Yankees get. That's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Twins would be cool, too. Classic guy doesn't know anything about sports. Hey, Bye. Dental King, welcome What's back up? to the vlog. TK, baby. TK is back. Yes, sir. So five years ago, we had this similar setup going down the Nashville, our first ever time in Nashville. Now look at us, we're going to the U.S. Bank yep, we for a draft it. party, and we have the same, basically the same crew. Middle okay. seat up front, you know, took one for the team. <laughs> he was a music player, he was basically the comedian, and uh, everything the whole way. Directions man, and for 14 hours. Dang. We made it! The U.S. Bank! Looks like a ship, they say. A lot of glass, not many Super Bowls. We made a few viral TikTok videos on that, the walkway bridge. I'ma pick you up in a Cadillac like a gentleman, bring it glamour back. Now here we are flash forward, we're living in Minneapolis area, so uh, who would have thought that uh, we'd be here today living, doing all this cool stuff. Will Blake. Oh! <laughs> I feel like I need to hear the story about that. We've officially entered the Miller Light Zone and uh, we got ourselves some free barbecue sauce. It is NFL Draft Original Kansas City style barbecue sauce. Greatness is on the clock and on the ribs, which we'll be putting this thing on. <laughs> what a commercial! I'm thirsty. I'll tell you, even when we're not on the road, we can't resist a good burger. <laughs> Look at this thing. Is it burger time? <laughs> you and a cookie? Yeah. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gluten free? Yes sir, you know it. What did you get? A little hack. I put some pulled pork on my bun and then the hamburger. Never would we have thought we'd be eating dinner on the 50-yard line. Just ready for the season to start. Dave was actually supposed to be here, but we decided to take Trey instead. And that's why he has a Cappy jersey on, as you can see. Uh, so we're calling him Cappy for the rest of the night. All right, Cappy? Terps up, boys! <laughs> so we showed up here, we're eating dinner. And Frizz tells us that uh, it's kind of a trial for us here at U.S. Bank with the Vikings. <laughs> We're trying to get invited as influencers to the Vikings games. He's like, it all matters. Every one of us needs a video. Bring it in. Bring it in, boys. Mike's on three. Three. Two. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. I'll count the other way. One, two, three. Mike's. <laughs> Three, two, one. What the? You know, everywhere we go, we will find the best couch. They've swung and missed a few times. Dude, why do you keep looking at your phone? I'm supposed to be getting a call any minute here. Yeah, Packers. This is supposed to be me. Coach hasn't called me. Picks in. Here comes that insignificant Kentucky QB. They're looking it for better not be. That guy's they're my rival. Backers. Let's just say if he gets called to Green Bay, I'll never go watch him play. <laughs> Next pick, next pick I got. Iowa, I didn't want to go.
go to Green Bay anyway. This is supposed to be my spot, number 15. Still waiting for Coach to call. Phone's been pretty dry. <laughs> the pick is in. Buddy, buddy, nice. answer your phone. Man. Oh, I gotta take this place. Holy shit. I understand. Oh, what happened? He called me and told me he's passing on me this year. He wanted to give me one more year. You're going to the XFL, boys. <laughs> There's plenty of your draft left. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna be a bomber next year. <laughs> Winnipeg. I'm actually pissed off because I didn't get picked, but you know what? There's always next year. Just gotta try harder in the off season. Party was unreal. <laughs> <laughs> Attaboy, Cappy. <laughs> Cappy, how'd it feel to be back on camera? Hey, the, guess the... what? I'm back. <laughs> And better than ever. Dang, Kathy's a good time. I love when we can get Kathy out of the office for a good time, like the NFL draft party. Yeah, we're just marching around. Usually at lunchtime, we go battle another company in some football. <laughs> Athletic football. Head to our game right now. Okay. Wild took a fat, fat L. They did not deserve to win the series, unfortunately. Jets lost, but we all knew that was gonna happen. Big bracket Two busters. Two bracket busters. Colorado goes down. Boston also loses. Wow, good for Florida. <laughs> good for the Kraken. Good, good for the Kraken. Kraken. First ever win. I'm going for the Seattle Kraken. Oh. <laughs> West, yeah, I think I gotta go Seattle because I hate Vegas. Loyal to the oil now that my Jets are out, so I'm going for Edmonton in the West. That's who I'm going for. We'll be giving you updates after every round on our little hockey walk talks. See you next week. So we normally ship our merch off. We had a local who ended up winning a giveaway. So we're gonna hand deliver, kind of. She's coming to the office and then we're gonna deliver it. She should be here any minute. And we're excited to give the giveaway winner her merch. Hello. Hello. Yeah, congratulations. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, nice Levi. Nice. Your hoodie for you, the no Thank bad days. Yeah. Hockey guy Ooh. sticker for you. Oh and God. one last thing. Oh, hockey guys. Oh, nice. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube. That right there, that is what it's all about. Meeting the people. That is good. Getting man. to interact with people that watch her stuff. That was cool. Welcome back to this week's Sauceman with Austin. This time we have a little special edition because we're doing a recipe out of Snoop D O Double G's book. That's right. And we're going to try a recipe out of it today. This one is. Billionaire's bacon, but we're not just doing the bacon alone. Me and Cuddy are gonna whip up what goes great with bacon, a BLT. Let's get into it. After reading the recipe, this bacon looks to be like a little bit of sweet and savory with like pepper, brown sugar, red pepper flakes. So obviously first up, half cup brown sugar. One teaspoon of cracked black pepper. This might take a little bit, but at least it's easy, right? Crushed red pepper flake. Hey, Cud, your favorite part, the bacon time. Want to get your hands messy? Of course I do. <laughs> so we have Lazzy here filming us, but it looks like it's just me and you tonight. He'll come over once it's all done, I'm sure. Mort, how have you been? Mort's very talkative today. <laughs> all this beautiful bacon is lined up. Let's get it into the oven. Hands are still wet. Get it into the oven. There you go, like a natural. Look at that. When you watch the same thing every night over and over, you pick up a few things. <laughs> All right, so we actually pre-cooked the bacon for about 10 minutes because the bacon's actually supposed to be on a wire rack from the recipe book, but I don't have a wire rack. I imagine a lot of you don't have a wire rack. So we pre-cooked the bacon a little bit because the brown sugar is gonna burn a lot faster than the bacon cooks. So we par-cooked the bacon a bit. Now it's time to get a little brown sugary. Now now this bacon is officially turning into the Snoop Dogg's Billionaire Bacon. Once it came out of the oven, we let it sit for about five minutes. Now let's get into it and see what Snoop's been talking about. Hope Snoop wasn't lying to us. Let's try this. I love it. Okay. Three salt and peppered tomato, two slices of our Billionaire's Bacon in half like this, little shredded lettuce, another slice of Billionaire's Bacon, Going the other way. A little bit of shredded Swiss cheese, a little Dijon, and a little bit of my garlic sauce that'll actually be featured in my new Sauce with Austin cooking ebook coming out soon. Push down. Let's see how you did. 
Well done. Bacon is very unique and I love it. You should definitely all go try it. Snoop B O W G won't do you wrong. Let's see what he's talking about. This is the fine oops. This is the final BLT product. I agree, it is pretty dang good. Snoop definitely elevated that bacon. That was awesome. Overall sauce and rating for the Billionaire's Bacon BLT Sandwich, I would give it an 8.4. It is a very good, reliable sandwich. Just because it's Snoop Dogg, I'm giving it an 8.9. Thanks for coming to this week's Saucin' with Austin. We'll see you next week for another saucy surprise. Could be on the road. Guess we'll find out. Stay classy, my friends. 300, 300 million views, 50 million likes can only imagine what the next two months of your life were like after that. <laughs> it was a funny story. I remember it hit 10 million views and I was like, what the heck? And then I, I would refresh like every minute, 11 million. I was like, it's getting like a million views a minute. Like this is wild. Wow, did we ever stuff. have quite the episode. We got Nick back on, finished up a great interview with him. That camera died. I think it might've overheated that one. That thing's always we'll heating off up. From there. Yeah. Mid episode and Cuddy was behind there trying to Penguin slide his way through that crack. I had one leg, one leg up I on the chair, and then I almost had it. My oh thought my process God, I was know. gonna slide this, but then I was like, that could be the dumbest idea ever. I had a feeling it was gonna happen. Why? We were working these puppies hard. To be honest, it was like failure from the beginning. Yeah, I, I was <laughs> ready for it. <laughs> you texted Nick before and said, "Hey, I'm testing my crew. The cameras will die a few times. You hang in there, and we're gonna see. We're gonna test the stress I level here." Sure you... Great episode. That is gonna be on the fan club podcast. Something that's been consuming uh, quite a bit of our time and weeks here is that we are really enjoying this hey, process of just interviewing off. different people and getting to hear people's oh, stories. Building up this skill of actually producing it too is something that is a lot of fun for me. If you're watching this and you wanna go check that out, we would appreciate your support a lot. That is it for this episode of the YouTube channel. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next Thursday. I'm trying to figure out who sent us this amazing package. I got a new mug for good drinking. One thing about good drinking, you never know the ratios. You never get the same good drink twice. A new rule that I just made now is every good drink needs a bendy straw. Oh, that is dynamite. Thank, Thank you who sent these. We really appreciate it. We love our good drinks. Everything just disappears. Don't wanna be someone else. Just don't wanna hate myself. I just don't wanna hate myself. Instead, I wanna feel good. Thanks for Cappy to coming out. I loved it. Thank you for the invite. You know, I was listening for my name tonight. Just didn't get called again. School. Me, me and you are playing in the XFL next year. <laughs> Yelly, you could uh, bring your fishing Mouth pole is here so soon. Dry. Yeah, and you could bring a bar of soap and take a bath for once. <laughs> you know how this tastes? 100% free. The greatest thing about life is over the years I've realized it's never too late for a cup of coffee. <laughs> it is 9.07 p.m. and I'm delighted to have my fifth cup of the day. <laughs> Franklin's the fastest and coolest guy in the office. Frank. 25 schmeels right there. Is that 25 mil? Oh god, yeah. What's he doing the night now? Party. Is he on a party? Oh yeah. He's flying off.